wake kikosi chao hicho ambacho kina mabadiliko uh, kidogo na mchezo uliopita ama walicheza mchezo wa kwanza dhidi ya Tunisia uh, mamuzi ndio huyo kutoka Malawi Chizinga uh, mamuzi wote kutoka Malawi hao uh, nahodha wote hao mamuzi nahodha ni nina mlango huyu Ahmed Abdul Salam wa Libya kadhalika na bwana Ali Samata wa Tanzania wanapata picha pamoja picha ya pamoja eh uh. eh uh. haya ni, ni mchezo wa pili kwa kila timu wa kundi J wa kufuzu Afcon kocha huyo Fauz Benzati wa Libya haya kijaribu kupata maalumati mawili matatu juu mambunda eh tieni ndiragije wa taifa sasa huyo ni juu mambunda Suleiman Matola au badu haya hicho ni kikosi ambacho kina mabadiliko mawili tu pengine yanaweza kusema ni makaseja kama kawaida likuepo lakini Dita Mchimbi ameanza leo ah hali kadhalika na Salum Kimenya pia ni ingizo jipya katika kikosi cha kwanza mimi ni Juma Bakari kinaanguka mwenzangu ni Abdul Kadir Kudabash na kandanda ndio nimekwishaanza namna hiyo dakika eh, tuangalie 45 za kipindi hiki cha kwanza Libya na Tanzania mataifa sasa lakini Mediterranean unahitajika umakini mkubwa sana kujilinda eh, kwa kuangalia jinsi gani ambavyo wanaweza kukana mpira Tanzania na hasa kwa kipindi klabu ya Tripoli ya pale Libya ilipigwa kutoka kule kule upande wa kushoto wa Tanzania Abdel Hudi akapiga Eh kanda mwamba lakini kutokuwa na umakini kwa mshambuliaji Anis Saltu eh kupelekea Tanzania kuwa salama dakika hii ya pili lakini eh makosa yanaonekana hasa katika defense kwa upande wa eh na kofi mpira ule lakini una ziwa vizuri kabisa bado Tanzania bwana Samata bwana Samata bwana Samata bwana Samata jana kokota mpira ule Salma Bakari kule haya Zamir Zamir Yasin giza majalo nane huko Simon Msuba kwenye box Simon Msibo wapo chini ile nini penalty penalty wapo chini Simon Msuba kijana wa Ifael Jadida ya Morocco ah wapo chini ile muzi moja kwa moja na Kadi Manjana natoka ndio pigwe mkwaju wa penalty eh ni Simon Msuva aliingia ndani ya box uh, Mohamed Aliat akaenda kucheza mguu wa Simon Msuva na sio mpira uh, mpira alishaanza na hii ni faida ya kucheza kati ya vilabu bora barani Afrika Bifa El Jadid ameonesha uko mavu mkubwa na kisa ambavyo anaisaidia Tanzania ni mkwaju wa penalty bao Tanzania wamepata katika dakika ya 16 matumaini ya Tanzania wengi ni bila kuvuka katika mstari kwa sababu uh, itabadilisha hali ya mchezo itabadilisha hali za watu na hasa kwa mashabiki popote wa pale walipo eh uh, waliokusanyika pale Dar es Salaam Karume watazitasikika shango zao pia lakini sehemu tofauti tofauti ni bwana Samata haya Samata kwenda kupiga fa penalty ile moja mbili tatu Samata kwenye kamba ile pira Samata atamuliza Tanzania katika ardhi ya Tunisia Tanzania moja Libya haijapata kitu penalty moja matata kweli kweli nani anasema tuwezi kushinda nani anasema tuwezi kupata goli pale Libya Bwana Ali Samata Popa eh, alitimiza jukumu lake la kuvucha mpira katika eh, ule mstana ni goli la kwanza kwa Tanzania nafasi iliyotengenezwa na Simon Msuva inamalizwa vizuri na bwana Samata uh, na hao
was uh, the attempted clearance just came off the hand and you can see that well the Nieto is absolutely gutted because uh, we'll see from the replay but I honestly think it was quite blatant what that come off his ankle didn't it where um, the ball uh, touched his hand. What, that came off his ankle, didn't it? Oh my good gracious me, it happened so quickly. Oh, did it come off his right hand when it came back off his uh, ankle? That's where um, the ball uh, touched his hand. So that's the handball offence. Well, now, it's uh, Sam the Raja Casablanca defender who's coming up to take the spot kick. He comes up against Kazeja, the veteran, who will uh, try and uh, see exactly what he's up to. Sand against Kazeja to try and level things up for Libya halfway through the second half. Sand for Libya, the Mediterranean Knights, eager to get a, a goal here tonight. Sand with a shot, oh, he's buried it in the corner, and the Mediterranean Knights are just brandishing their ability to score goals. That was a fine strike from the spot kick, and it's 1-1 here at the Mustafa Ben Janet Stadium in Monastir. These Libyan supporters finally get a little bit of and joy from what has been a, a difficult night here at home against the Type for Stars. So 1-1 it is, game one, and uh, well, sharing the spoils as it stands. Uh, well, with it, this could go anywhere, to be honest with you. I think that we've um, we've got an entertaining last 30 minutes ahead of us, when it's in fact. And uh, we will have another change, and off goes uh, Farid Moussa. And on comes Hassan Salah Dilunga, the uh, midfielder for Simba. There's the uh, confirmation. Sand with a 67. San Masood, the goal scorer. Pain, of course, they missed the last uh, one of the editions of the Africa Cup of Nations. They want to get back on track. Last time the 2015 in Equatorial Guinea. In the Mongomo. There's the delivery into the penalty box. There's the flicked header there by uh, Samata. But uh, it's uh, it's not met by anybody behind him. Puffins. And uh, good, good, good game for Sula. I must admit, the uh, the Bahrain-based player has been uh, very, very impressive tonight. When he comes on, replaced. See the, the corner. There's the uh, the clearance there, replaced by Mofta Taktak of El Masri. Plays in Egypt, just like uh, Eliat, the left back. for El Houni. Oh, the, oh, there's the shot, it's in the back of the net, he gets his goal. Salto, the big man, finally, drives the ball home. He picks on, he picks on scraps, he, he goes for whatever he possibly can in the six-yard box, that was perfect for him. He really is a vulture in that uh, penalty box. And there's your goal, offering Libya the lead. The Israel de Sahel striker, the tall giant man, Finally gets what he's been after, and it comes in, what, the 80th minute? Pretty much so. There's your goal. You get a yellow card for just bearing his torso, but uh, he doesn't matter. He doesn't care. This is all about banging in that goal from close range, and Fauzi Banzati has seen his boys, well, take the, the hard way 
to get themselves ahead. And that was a great crossover. First of all, that was a horrible miss kick. That was uh, that should have been buried by Ali Mohammed. But uh, Salto just didn't make any mistakes. Look at that. It's an opportunist strike from close range, beating Kazeja. Low and underneath the goalkeeper. There you go, the 81st minute to be exact. Now, can the type of stars hit back? They've uh, had a bit of a lull of activity in uh, the last uh, 15 minutes. It's not looking like the team that we thought they were uh, capable of, you know, the, the team that they looked like in the first time. Uh, for me, Ethiopia beating Ivory Coast. Well, you can't even imagine what that means to Ethiopia. It is absolutely massive, that result. And uh, congratulations, Aurier scoring that opening goal after four minutes, and then Surafel Dugnakchev getting an equalizer just 12 minutes later. Như vậy là trận đấu của chúng ta. Đây là trang nhà cái uy tín nhất hiện nay, đứng top tại diễn đàn cá cược số 1 châu Á Asian Bookie. Hãy nhanh tay truy cập FB88. And Voivia Bell, Norman Janahari scoring a brace, Andrea Mea, his Sinoro. And uh, Jerome Monpriest, Paul Musa, scored a second for Niger. That's a great ball into the penalty area. Well, there's a free kick there. A little bit of a push, I believe, from uh, from Sands. Tanzania not really showing us... Uh, That much in the in the last 20 minutes, really. There's uh, tak tak. And uh, if we want to go through some of the, well, there's no need for this. There's uh, let's just calm things down. And of course, uh, as I said, you know, card has been dished out. And I tell you that in added time, there's a red card. The red card has been dished out. And I tell you that uh, there's no need for that, really, was there? And uh, Libya, they're not being disciplined now because they think that they're just uh, sitting on this advantage. But they have to be very, very careful because uh, they've got players who have got yellow cards. And uh, well, this is a big, big uh, mistake. This is an El Huni gets two, two yellows in the space of five minutes and uh, their star player well he's going to miss the next game of course which is going to be a big blow for them and uh, that makes for us some uh, very poor decision making and uh, you can show him the wound but it doesn't matter Mr. Chizinga has already made up his decision let's have a look at this again Well, he just really put his studs on the ankle of uh, Ramadani. And there's the kick in the back afterwards. That was what we didn't like. And that's the reason why he's just picked up a second yellow. And uh, there's no place for that in football, I'm afraid. Because that was like, uh, of course, uh, Saltu just uh, pouncing on that loose ball in the six yard box has just given them that opportunity and uh, I think that that's what we've got to look at here much more time will be added to this uh, to the four minutes because they're up now all eyes will be on the referee and him looking at his watch as uh, Suba gets knocked off the ball and they want to take this they're going to be piling into that Penalty box is taken quickly. What can they do with this? What's that? Well, the ball was rolling. You've got to take it again. Why can't they hear Tanzania? It's just too difficult now, isn't it? Libya have been, uh, they play, played for 90 minutes and just uh, knew that it was just a question of time. And these supporters relieved that the uh, that their Mediterranean Knights have just got back on track after losing their 4-1 opening fixture against Tunisia. 
It's a different scenario here. Well, there you have it, Libya battling back from a goal down to take all three points and pick up their first win in this uh, qualifying group stage. Both goals coming in the 